So they are allowing electronic voting, but they are specifically banning ele- electronic transmission of results. And in Edo and Ondo states, one of the results during portal was introduced to allow for electronic transmission of results. So for them to allow electronic voting and specifically ban um, electronic transmission of results, it seems to me like they're trying to reverse the gains we made in Edo and Ondo. Even at the electoral hub, we were able to do an analysis. We did like a result analysis based on selected result sheets from the polling unit in Edo and Ondo. All of this was because the data was available. But by banning electronic transmission of results, they are trying to reduce access to information. They are trying to reduce the transparency in elections. And it just doesn't make sense to me. The excuse put forward by some lawmakers, uh, the, the ones that um, are in favor of this move, is that in some areas, uh, there could be lack of um, um, internet um, facility in some areas. What's your reaction to that? Um, I don't think that's a good excuse because I think even during the Edo and Ondo elections where they use the Z-pad um, to transmit results to the results being portal. So you can snap the picture and then whenever you get to an area that there is internet connection, it will okay. automatically sync and upload on the website. And I also attended one, with, I, can't, I think it was Oracle and DataCrest, where they were talking about um, options for electronic voting in Nigeria. And they were saying even in places that don't have access to the internet, mm. you can still do everything there. And then whenever you get to where there is internet connection, it will automatically sync to the cloud. So I don't think saying that there is no um, internet connection in Nigeria is a good excuse for right. that.